We're going to be working with modeling clay, air dry modeling clay. And first we're going to roll it, you know, like we were making a little snake. And we're going to start carefully giving it the shape of a heart, but also the shape of two candy canes joining together. To give it a better shape, I'm using a toothpick to help me and of course my fingers. And the toothpick works a lot, like to join the two parts, so... And after that, we're going to be painting it with some regular paint, you know, acrylic paint. Once it's dry, we're going to cover it with some like see-through nail polish protector so that it has like a very glowy finishing touch. To start off, what we're going to need is two straws of holiday spirit color. So red and green will do. And we're going to be using the sharpener with just one of them. And just, you know, like you were sharpening any pencil. Now we're going to carefully pass it through the other straw. Till, you know, it's, you know, the right colors divided. You know, make it look like a candy cane or something. To secure it in place, I'm using a little tape. And you can do this in the, in both ends of the straws. Now we're gonna wrap it in foil, leaving enough space, you know, because we're gonna be ironing it. I'm using my hair strainer because you know it's smaller, but you can use any you want. <laughs> Once we unwrapped it, we gotta be very careful, you know it's hot. And we're gonna get like this really cute design that it's perfect for a Christmas bracelet. I'm using another bracelet I have like to measure and to get the shape. Use tape to secure it in place, iron it, and if you want you can add some glitter with glue like I did. With some air dry model and clay, we're gonna be rolling it in our hands to make a small bowl. And you know we're gonna shape up like the top also because we're kind of making like a small ornament, an Iron Man small ornament. And to blend the two parts together, I'm using the help of my toothpick. You do it just very carefully and then you can smooth it with your finger. And we're gonna be rolling a little piece, you know, like to make like the handle of the ornament. Once it's dry, we're gonna draw the design, in this case like the Iron Man mask. Which we're gonna be then start painting, you know, with some bright yellow. And... We're going to be also using red and black to paint the details. Silver, of course, for the top because it's an ornament, you know, and it gives it like a more kind of realistic look. To help with the smaller details, I suggest you always keep at hand an old pen that doesn't work. And of course, to give it a glossy finish, use a nail polish. Someday at Christmas To begin, we're gonna grab any mug. I got this at the dollar store and you're just gonna draw any Christmas design. I decided it would be cute to make like dots with some snowflake. 
Now you can use something old to get some water and you just drop, you know, the nail polish and you have to like get the mug in really fast so the design doesn't, you know, turn smudgy and you can use any color you want and it gets a really cool effect. Beautiful time of the year, lights fill the streets spreading so much cheer, but I'm a be under the mistletoe for you. We're going to be rolling some air dry polymer clay and we're going to be shaping it, you know, like a ring. Now we're going to shape it around our finger and very carefully cut it with a craft knife and smooth the edges so it looks very realistic and cool. I drew a tiny template of a mistletoe leaf. And then I placed it on top of the clay and cut it very carefully with a craft knife. We're going to be moving three leaves. And we're also going to be rolling, you know, like the little, I don't know if it's a fruit, a cherry, or what is it that it's like in the middle of the mistletoe. But we're going to be doing that. Once it's dry, we're going to be painting it, you know, with green and red. And actually, I didn't record it, but I ended up putting some nail polish on top of that as well as the ring. It's nail glue to glue it in place, and we're done. Don't cry, snowman, not in front of me. Who will get your tears if you can't get me dying? We're gonna start with some air dry modeling clay. We're going to be making a small bowl with our hands and then we're going to be flattening out using the chopping board and a bottle. Once we roll it out, we're going to be placing it on a bowl that we've already protected with some plastic. Now we're going to be making kind of like between a marshmallow and a bowl and that's going to be the head of our snowman. Using a toothpick, we're going to be blending the modeling clay so it looks more smooth. Rolling some clay, cutting it, and blending it, we're going to be making the snowman's arms. Making some small bowls, we're going to be flooding them so we can make the bottoms of the snowman. Having rolled some, some modeling clay, we're going to flatten it and we're going to be making the snowman scarf and to give it more texture, we're using the toothpick. Time to create the face, so we're making the nose, which is the carrot, and the eyes. And we're going to carefully blend them in the face. And of course, let's not forget the signature hat the snowman's hat. And we're making them and blending it. Time to paint all the details of the snowman. I suggest first you paint the small parts, you know, like the buttons, the arms, the face, the hat. And at the end, you paint what's the snow, you know, because clay dries in it like a kind of yellow color. I'm in the shape of a bowl so it could be used to put rings or money, coins, you know, but you could use it for whatever you want. And once it's dried, we are gonna be sealing it with some clear nail polish. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up below which of the DIYs you enjoy the most and if you do try any of them please remember to tag me on Instagram or Twitter and I look forward to seeing you guys